Welcome back to Euronews tonight. A clash over Catalonia was a main talking point in last night's television debate ahead of Sunday's elections in Spain. None of the four main candidates emerged as a clear winner from the late night debate. Instead, it acted as a platform for trading insults and accusations of lying and being out of touch with reality. Opinion polls say the number of undecided voters is so high that all possible outcomes are within the margin of error and anything could happen on Sunday. But candidates will have another chance to get their point across ahead of the vote as the same four candidates will hold a second debate, this time on private rather than public television this evening. Well, one image from the debate that sparked a row on social media is leading female voters to question whether their concerns are really being represented. Alex and our team and The Cube have more on this story. Alex. Four men. Janat, four men debating to become Prime Minister. Pedro Sanchez, the incumbent Prime Minister and obviously the leader of the Socialist Workers' Party. Then Pablo Casando of the People's Party. Albert Rivera of Sudadanos, that translates to the Citizens' Party. And Pablo Iglesias there of Unidas Podemos, um, considered perhaps the most left-wing of the candidates. But one thing they do all have in common, of course, is these are four men leading the debate. Once again, it'll be one of these men who becomes Prime Minister. But have a look at this image. It was an image captured just before the debate began. While it's a bit blurry, here are the four men being advised with uh, male advisers while two female cleaning staff uh, are seemingly polishing or mopping the stage. Now, for some people, that summed up the whole problem here. Anita was one of those. She was saying the real losers in the debate were women. No, the men, she says, the men debate, the women clean. And there's a sense here that when the women's vote is going to be so important, we on Euronews did a detailed article about how actually issues relating to women in the women's vote could swing this election. When this is the kind of imagery you're seeing, where the women are the closest they're getting to being front and centre of this debate is in these kind of shots cleaning the stage, well, it leads uh, some people like Sergio, and he's himself a man, of course, saying... It's, it's a horrible image, a horrific image, if you like, summing up the extent of the problem. And while, of course, there are a huge number of substantive points, people saw this image of speaking a thousand words, if you like, Jeanette. People on Spanish social media sharing this widely to say that the system needs to be fixed to actually allow women themselves to have a voice in all this. Now, we did some, we did some reaching out, and one of the people we at Euronews spoke to, with Maria Ramos, she is a journalist, um, and we asked her for her take. What was her take on all this? This is a little video she sent us. That matter to me are being vaguely addressed, but more importantly, my view is very underrepresented. Uh, four candidates, four males. There is no female perspective. You heard them talk on the debate about feminism, and the only women you could see were the ones cleaning the floor. And I think that sums it up quite neatly. Now, of course, these four candidates are each now trying to win over the female vote, the women's vote. They will each now, you presume, in going into tonight's debate, be trying extra hard to, to win over uh, and to win on those issues. But for some people, that image really did. Well, it's going to take a lot for them to get over it. Jeanette. Alex, thank you very much for that. Well, to discuss the debates, I'm joined by Oscar Valero from Euronews' Spanish service. And Oscar, it is really quite ironic that one of the main topics at this debate last night was uh, women's issues discussed by these four male candidates. Well, there was like, like a small part on the debate that was quite tense when the, uh, the two candidates of the Conservative parties the Conservatives and the Liberal discussed with Pedro Sánchez about the visions of, uh, on feminism. But it's true that feminism has been a very important issue in these elections, as we could see reported here in, in Euronews in, in many times. And the thing is that um, Pedro Sánchez, the, the Prime Minister, presented his record as the, the first Prime Minister or the Prime Minister that put more women in, on his cabinet. So he tried to discuss this issue, but it's obviously something that all the candidates were a little bit uncomfortable to discuss. But the issue that really fired up the candidates was that of Catalonia and the bid by some separatists there for, for independence from Spain. The truth is that the campaign has been marked by this issue, but like since they started, even before. So all the candidates try to mark their territory on this. First of all, because the, the two, the, the Conservative and the Liberal, had to show how firm they are with independentists. 
but the the other the leftist candidates had to say okay we are going we are we want to dialogue we want to dialogue but without alienate their voters in the rest of spain i mean to try to to show which which are the differences so what, that's why this was so important but there are a lot of other issues that concern spanish voters apart from catalonia of course we didn't hear any debate we heard debate about catalonia but we didn't hear any debate about unemployment about fiscal reform we didn't hear anything about that we would just heard four monologues about their measures but we didn't they didn't discuss about that it was catalonia all the time and tonight we can expect more or less the same because it was the main issue in the campaign